on former VP Mike Pence to apologize for an attempted joke at last weekend's political roast held by a DC journalist. I'm sorry, did you just say a roast? I didn't even realize it was a roast. You're complaining about the jokes at a roast? Pence claimed Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg did to two months of, quote, maternity leave during the nationwide airline crisis. Which he literally did, but go on. Which makes Pete the only person in human history to have a child and everyone else gets postpartum depression. That's the joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I have seen some shit. Forget about the combat footage subreddit. What I just watched is indescribably maddening. Like something out of a HP Lovecraft story. I'm warning you now that after watching this, you won't be the same ever again. But first, there's never been a better time to invest in gold and silver. So check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Silver's appeal lies in its rarity and aesthetic worth. But its importance in today's economy and technology may surprise you. Silver is used in a wide variety of technological devices and renewable energy sources, like solar panels. That's why securing your financial future with a silver IRA from Noble Gold Investments is such a brilliant idea. This month, every qualifying IRA of $20,000 or higher comes with a magnificent Silver Eagle bullion coin. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com to learn more and make sure to let them know Drone Tech sent you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. I will point out that this joke wasn't funny when Tucker Carlson did it. It's not funny. It's just not a funny joke. Hope you enjoy it! That's the fact that the joke was not funny. It's coming from someone who has a history of homophobia. And yeah. that's what the problem is. Yeah. This is a very, very craven attempt to appeal to the MAGA base yet again. Yeah. Uh, I'd just like to remind you once again that uh, this was a political roast. This is where it raises red flags to me. Tucker Carlson, as you mentioned, has been pushing this sort of meme of it's a joke that somebody would take paternity leave, that two fathers would mean it. Yeah, I had a way. big problem with the whole thing. What? I thought the joke was lazy. He certainly didn't write it because he's not a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like the joke. <laughs> Have I completely lost my mind? Or are these the very same people who just a few days ago excused a call to murder pro-life politicians by Jane Fonda a joke? Besides, besides marching and, and protesting, what else do you suggest? Well, well, it doesn't happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> murder. She's kidding. Wait a second. She's just that, kidding. Don't say that. That's oh, you don't know. They'll pick up on that and yeah, just run that's with it. Worst. She's, She's just kidding. It's well. Let me talk to you about. Let me ask <laughs> Let's move on and talk about Jane's activism. I hate this. It is revolting. This is actual gaslighting. There was nothing homophobic about that joke, and it's 100% acceptable to make fun of politicians, especially at a political roast where that's the entire point. Make no mistake that as absurd as this is, their ultimate plan is to build a case for suppressing free speech, which will include punishing people for making fun of Democrats, or maybe more specifically these days, the Uniparty. This wasn't the only gaslighting to come from the Hollywood hags this week. Just yesterday, they were explaining away valid criticisms of Camilla Horace by suggesting that people don't think she's Winston Churchill because of a white supremacist conspiracy to edit all the footage that comes out of her. The Daily Show had this reel that played because they were saying this is the new episode of Veep. And it was like this word salad of some moments that were just, I think they called it a word salad, which is why I use that. But it was like repetitive moments that for me, when I see a leader, I want to feel like I'm going to be okay. And when folks vote, they order what they want. And in this case, they got what they asked for. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Every day, it is time for us to agree. <laughs> right? <laughs> Talking about the significance of the passage of time. Right? The significance of the passage of time. 
So when you think about it, no way. There is great significance to the passage of time. <laughs> you could take Winston Churchill out of context and make a, a, a video and a clip and a loop. They do it with us. Looking at every single day where you know yeah. oh look at what the you know what the uh, hags on the view said no that is not true i'm surprised that there's concern i think it has a lot to do with this she's a black woman black women get everything done we've saved this country's democracy for, she's for obviously centuries. amazing but excuse me what for, she's obviously amazing but what specifically but well like, no, I mean, where should I, where, where shall I start? <laughs> I mean, she was in the Senate, of but course. But no, I mean, as Attorney vice General, president, of course, vice she's president. president. She's, she, the Inflation Reduction Act, I mean, the... <laughs> she asked, where do I start? And then her first two responses to the question, what has Kamala Harris done as VP are, quote, being in the Senate and becoming vice president. <laughs> The Inflation Reduction Act? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure that Kamala Harris had nothing to do with that. She was the face of just... Roe v. Wade. I mean, no, the list goes on and on. I'd like to ask but you, I, what, what, did, what did Pence do? Yeah, but, what did Pence no, do? Like, that, no, but, I mean, he put his lips firmly but on the there, butt but of you... Donald Trump. <laughs> She just like a total meltdown mode now. So she has nothing and all she can do is now deflect into attacking Mike Pence, who I thought they liked. I thought that they were allies. All right, folks, that's all I can take for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.